Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can farm Archon mods, which are technically the latest endgame mods that have entered the game. So, all in all, if you don't know what Archon mods are, they are primed and non-primed mod variants, essentially, which have the initial, like, range, duration, what have you, and then a little boost to go along with it. So first we'll go over what the five Archon mods are, and then we'll go over everything you need to actually farm these. And just to let you know, they are end game, so you have to complete most story quests, and they are kind of behind like a weekly cap. So you'll need at least, I believe, like two, three weeks in order to actually get these. So just keep in mind, they take some time. So, these are all of the Archon mods. You saw them on the thumbnail, most likely, and we'll just start from left to right, starting with Archon Continuity. So, this is essentially primed continuity with a buff. So, ability to duration, nice. Abilities that inflict a toxin status effect will also apply a corrosive status effect. So, essentially, Saren even stronger? Question mark? No, but. Warframes, which inherently have abilities that do Toxin, now do Corrosive as well, and are a lot better. So Archon Continuity, very strong, very good. 10 out of 10, would recommend if applicable. Next, you have Archon Stretch, which is regular stretch, so 45 ability range, and then abilities that deal electricity damage restore two energy a second over five seconds, sorry. So overall, not as good, but still pretty decent overall if you use a lot of electric abilities because that's just constant two energy a second, baby, pretty much. So not bad, but not as amazing as the previous. Now we have Archon Vitality, which is essentially like Prime Vitality or Umbral Vitality. It's just 440 health, which is good. And then status effects from abilities that deal heat damage will also be applied twice. So double heat status procs, I use it on Protea. You can use it on other things like Chroma, anything that deals heat damage. You probably hear my dog barking in the background. So overall, not too shabby. Next, we have Archon Flow, which will pretty much be Prime Flow, 275 energy max, nice, nice. Enemies killed by cold damage have 10% chance to drop an energy orb, cool down 10 seconds. I don't consider this one as good as others, but it's still not terrible. Last but not least, we have Archon Intensify, which is essentially a regular Intensify, 30 ability strength, and then Restoring Health with abilities grants 30% ability strength for 10 seconds. So overall, those are all five Archon mods right now. Hopefully they'll add more in the future, but they're essentially good mods because they are just base Warframe mods with a little kick to them, which can either be really good or subpar at best. So good, bad, not terrible. From there, how do we actually get Archon mods? It's not that terrible. It'll just take a lot of time. You do have to go and complete a bunch of quests, essentially. First off is the New War. This is a post the New War quest, so make sure you're done all of that, okay? Make sure you're complete the New War, all 100% done. If not, yeah. Once you're done the New War, you want to then complete the Veilbreaker quest, which will unlock and do weekly call missions which are uh, something all on their own. So the new war first, you should know what this is if you've completed the new war, and then Veilbreaker. From there, you need to land your ship on Earth. If you didn't know, there is a forest on Earth, once you're done the new war and a uh, Veilbreaker and everything, that you can land your ship on. Here you have the orbiter, if you need to fly it into space, and then I think around here you have the drifter camp, where my orbiter currently is. So, not too bad. You just have to fly it down to Earth. Then once you get down to Earth, you can go down here. Wow, beautiful. And this is, you know, all obviously end game, so a little spoilery, but whatever, that's fine. This is the end here, which is the Call Garrison Camp. Here is where you will do Call Weekly Missions. These will, once you complete the mission, increase your Syndicate level by one, but more importantly, you'll get stock, which is the currency, in order to buy Archon mods. From there, you go to your boy Chipper here, and then browse wares, and you can see here are the Archon mods. Keep in mind that when you buy them, they will be rank 1, or like rank 0, right? Purchase mods are unranked, so you'll need Endo to actually level them up, but this is where you get all of the Archon mods. 
Keep in mind, it'll take you, I think, two, three weeks in order to actually be able to purchase all of these. First off, because you need to get a high enough syndicate level, and that will be, I think, either three or four. And because you need to get all of the stock in order to purchase them. This is also where you get, like, Steinax and his weapons here, as well as some other cosmetics, loot, and, you know, just weapons, right? So, not too shabby there. Pick up the items and the Archon mods if you like them, and don't if you don't like them. As always, hope this helped. Like, sub, and check out any of my other social medias. Use Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker, etc. All of it is down in the description below. So follow Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, YouTube, all that. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.